Hey guys, Mr. Sandoval here. I want to go ahead and just give you some examples as you guys are practicing your calculus on some uh, infinite limits. Um, so these come up very often and sometimes students get confused, uh, especially when you have these logarithms combined with polynomials. So let's take a look at a few of these, okay? So the first one is x approaches infinity. And I want you guys to think about this, okay? What does x squared look like? Well, you guys know what that looks like. It looks like this. And what about ln of x? Well, should look like that. If you want to go ahead and pause and see what you would get, go ahead. But if you if you notice x approaches infinity, okay, what's happening? They're both going up, right? But which one is growing faster? And hopefully you can see that, but the x squared is growing faster. So if you see here, this guy's going towards infinity. And also this guy is also going towards infinity, but it's growing a lot a lot slower. So a very, very big number divided by a much smaller number, you're going to end up with just positive infinity. So when you're doing these, it's very good and very important to understand what it looks like. So that one wasn't too hard, but let's see if we can do a, a one that's a little bit more complex here. Um, let's look at number two now. They switched it up on us, and it's the limit as x approaches zero from the right side. Okay, be careful with the notation, okay? X approaches zero from the right side. And we're gonna go ahead and use this guy here. So what's happening? We still have our X squared. We still have our ln of X. And so we're actually going this way. We're going downward. Okay, we're going this way. All right, and remember the ln of X has the asymptote. So over here, what's happening? Okay, what's happening? The ln of X is approaching what? negative infinity that's right okay what is x squared approaching well x squared is approaching zero it's getting very very small now remember it doesn't get to zero okay it's just getting very 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 small so what happens when you have a negative number divided by something very 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 small well you're going to end up with negative infinity Okay, remember, this is a limit. It never gets to zero. It only approaches it. All right. And then let's do another one, last one. This is the one, the e to the x. This one comes up a lot. And a lot. I see a lot of them, uh, they throw you this negative x because it's a bit of a curveball. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's see what that looks like. Well, you guys know what x looks like. But what about e to the negative x? So we know that e to the x looks like this right? Well, e to the negative x, right? We're doing this part right here. And that's important to understand. Okay, so remember, we're approaching x and we're approaching negative infinity. So here, right, for the bottom part, what are we doing? We're going this way, right? We're going up, right, to the left. So be careful with that. So that means this guy is getting very, very large, is getting very, very big. Now what's happening with X? Now remember, X, okay, just uh, our line, our linear function, well, that's just going up, right? So that becomes positive infinity. That's going towards positive infinity, all right? But which one is growing faster? Think about it, which one is growing faster? The exponential here or the linear this guy that's right the the exponential is growing faster so this guy is growing a lot faster than the linear so because this guy is getting a lot bigger so what happens when we divide by a very 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 large number we get zero that's right it approaches zero okay so hopefully that makes sense guys um, something quick and easy. Just wanted to give you any, some examples that you're going to probably see on the AP exam. All right. See you guys next time.